police arrest Labour Party National Chairman Julius Aburi for forgery. Ah, uh -huh. what kind of forgery now? Hmm? What did Julius do? Wow. Uh, <laughs> now that this government is trying to show that they are working, I'm sure some people are going to be probably dealt with innocently. But again, let's dive into the details before we conclude. Let's see exactly what Julius Aburi did that made the police to arrest him. Operatives of the Federal Capital Territory Police Command have arrested and detained the national chairman of the Labour Party, Julius Aburi. Why? Gatekeepers News reports that Aburi was arrested over alleged fraud linked to the party's governorship primary in Plateau State, uh, not central in Nigeria. So his arrest followed a criminal complaint against him by a governorship aspirant in the 2023 election for Plateau State, Yahaya, okay, Johanna Majif, who accused Aburi of forgery. Can you imagine? Majif alleged in a criminal complaint to the police that Aburi forged his signature on a letter where he, Johanna Majif, was supposed to have withdrawn from the governorship uh, primary. Hmm. So the embattled Labour Party chairman has, however, be released on bail after the police obtained his statement. Meanwhile, an Labour Party, a Labour Party House of Representatives aspirant for Orion War, uh, who won the federal constituency in the 2023 general election in Ido State, Murphy Imaswen had accused Aburi of forging his signature in similar circumstances. Can you imagine? So the first criminal investigation department which investigated the matter, recommended that Aburi be prosecuted after it was confirmed by the Chief Registrar of the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory. Can you imagine? So it means that Aburi is going to be prosecuted now for forgery. Hey, now what for these people? How did Aburi fall into that trap? And what happened? How did he do it? Did he sign for somebody without put saying signed for? Or how? Eh? This politician self, uh, God will help us. So is Aburi guilty of this thing they're putting on him, or is this just a frame up? Because I know that opposition party like Labour, like PAP, uh, APC, has planted a lot of figures in Labour Party to bring the party down. They're looking for every way to bring the party down. I'm telling you the truth. Eh? Meanwhile, we have all those people parading themselves as. Uh, politicians in other parties that have forgery cases, they have all not been pulled down. They have not all been investigated. And the target is to see how to weaken the Labour Party before 2027. And I'm sure this matter, the a, a opposition party will put their energy around it since it's involving the national chairman. is significant to impacting the Labour Party, I'll tell you the truth. Very significant. And so they know that they will grab it and they will pass back end and tell the judiciary to do their job very well and make sure they don't let him go because you know that when they do that that will also weaken and break break down the credibility of the labor party ahead so uh aburi need to be very aburi is a lawyer anyway so he should know how to defend himself in this matter i'm sure he knows what to do as a lawyer because if he's involved he knows the implication I know the legal implication of what they're putting on his head. Well, let's see what will happen after now. Because I know as a lawyer, it's not going to be easy to, to just uh, put him behind bars like that. Hmm. But you lost all these people. You need to be very careful in Nigeria, I'm telling you. When you're doing something as bad as how Nigeria is, you have to pay attention to details. Because the mistake you make today can haunt you tomorrow. Whether it is intentional or it is a honest, uh, uh, knowledge-based mistake, we don't know. But anything you do, you don't do correctly, will haunt you the next time. And not just in Nigeria, all over the world. Especially in documentation. Nigerians have been very, very poor in documentation before now. And I just hope that people that are running the system, running government, running business entities, doing tests local and international, we need to pay attention to details now because... If, they, if you don't pay attention to details, the mistake you made, you make today can be your enemy tomorrow. So 
you have to be very very careful when you are doing documentation especially like people that are moving out of the country to go do one or thing or the other like now uh, uh we have seen a woman now in canada that the canadian government has denied the uh, asylum application because they say she did not spell pdp very well she's okay in her membership card another document is people's democratic party but in the stamp that was used to stamp the document it is people democratic party with s missing and the way they wrote s they wrote s with apostrophe in it they didn't write write s as s in plural so with all the with this just little difference discrepancy she has lost that application for asylum in canada just paying attention to details so this case of uh, and now herself and her three children are likely going to face deportation back to nigeria and meanwhile she had lied in her document that uh, apc is persecuting her because she's in pdp and strong opposition and they lied again and another government is trying to force her children to do female children to do female female uh, genital uh, mutilation which is actually circumcision okay and uh, with that now uh with this denier now if she comes back to nigeria nigeria is likely going to prosecute her for lying against the government it is where apc will hold her now two big points okay so now that julius abure is in this net is it that julius abure signed the document or forged the signature correctly or probably it was something that they are trying to put on him by agents of opposition party in labor party that we don't know so i expect julius abure now to pay more attention to details and know exactly the risk she's facing what they're putting before him because what we are seeing here is that federal high court has gotten a, a kind of nod to go ahead and prosecute him for forgery can you imagine this kind of thing so it would be too bad if julius abure actually forged these people's signature one in in uh, uh, in a do state and one other person in Plateau, the governorship aspirant in Plateau State now that is also bringing the issue. For that one is the one that actually arrested him now, though he had been released on bail. But the matter is not over; it's still under investigation. Hey Julius, you just have to, you know, too many battles for you. I tell you. <laughs> Meanwhile, a Papa group and a Arab and Bay group faction of Labour Party that are loyal to APC are still dragging him on one side. So when will this political battle be over? God will help us. So that is what I see. A lot of people actually migrated from other parties to the Labour Party to use it as a platform to win election. And some of them failed. Some of them did. I mean, the ones that are did that did are no longer listening to the Labour Party now, especially the ones it, uh, members that are members of National Assembly. Okay, the members of National Assembly. Some of them are no longer listening to the Labour Party now. They are one thing they are doing. Why some are trying to migrate from the Labour Party back to the original party because they have gotten what they wanted. So the <laughs> Labour Party has all sorts of things now because the Labour Party was able to move crowd a lot during the time of election. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comment. That is the ordeal before Julius Aburi now.